Alex. How are you going? Hey, bud. How's it going? And yeah, not too bad. This is Matt Hamilton. Welcome, everyone, of course, to Broadway Broad. This is Alexander Upremian. Uh, we are doing conversations with all of my friends around the world doing theater, whether it be Broadway, uh, national tours, Japan, Germany, or this one is all the way in Australia. Now, Matt has been in uh, film, he's been in television, and of course, he's done tons of shows. Um, right now, he is in the amazing musical Mamma Mia, which we'll get to in a second. He's also done Legally Blonde. He's done the premiere of Wicked in Australia, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, um, Dream Lover, which is the Bobby Darren story, uh, Damn Yankees, Jesus Christ Superstar. He's done the works. What's your favorite of every show, any show you've done? What was your favorite show or is your favorite show? Oh, that's easy. Um... Uh, without a doubt, career highlight would have to be once here in Australia, in Melbourne. Um, uh, that, for me, is the top. So, I, I mean, it's kind of one of those ones where I, I, I'm, I almost scare myself because I don't think anything will ever come close to it, you know? And, I, and I've done a little bit, and, um, and they've all been great, but that one just sits, you know, so far ahead of everything else. So, there must be something yeah, special about the show because I've also interviewed um, J. Michael Zygo, who was in the original Broadway company, and he said the same thing. There was something magical about being in this show, and I haven't seen it, so forgive me, but I, there must be something about this for a musician and as an entertainer that makes it so special as opposed to doing Miss Saigon, for, you know, for instance. And something's really well done and really, really well written and really well directed and, 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 and this great choreography i mean um it, it's it just it comes to life and and um and the, just the process as well i mean john tiffany who's who directed it um you know he's like bring your families in in into the rehearsal room nobody does that here yeah and he's like yeah yeah he's, oh you got kids yeah well just bring them in yeah and it just became this family and um and he sort of you know he sort of cultivated that vibe from day one and it, and it never left you know so it, I think I think that's definitely one of the reasons why, you know, it just sort of stands heads heads and shoulders above anything else I've personally done. Let's let's just get this out. You and I met 13 years ago yeah. working at Tokyo Disneyland, as yeah, buddy. And I I can say it. I don't know if you mind me saying, but we were princes. We were Cinderella's prince, Snow White's prince, Prince Philip, and I didn't know anyone. I mean, a anyone. And I the one thing I remember about yeah. you is you always had your head on straight. You didn't get involved in the drama and the gossip. What advice would you really give someone if they said, I want to work on a cruise ship or I want to work in a theme park? Because back in the day for us, it wasn't, it was kind of looked down upon, but now not so much. What do you, what do you think? I think as a young, as a young performer, I think it's a great way to sort of get your feet wet, uh, so to speak. And uh, um, there's something that as a young performer, I think theme parks and, and cruise ships, if you, you know, if, you, if that's the route you want to start, you can really sort of, um, you know, start to formulate good habits um, and, and see how, how it's done. And then, you know, for me, I was, I sort of floated through that a little bit. I was like, hey, this is great. This is fun. I was young. I can remember, like, after my second cruise contract that I did, I was like, hey, you know what? I want to do this for a living. So all these other, you know, people that were coming out of um, conservatory and, and stuff like that, you know, I, I'd already had it. I'd already had like three or four years of professional experience. That's what so, I say. The training, the training on ships is is really incredible because as a singer, as a dancer, you've got to do so many different styles of singing or dancing in a week. Where if you're doing a Broadway yeah. show, you're doing the same show over and over again eight times a week. You met your wife, now wife, who's Australian in Japan on our contract. Yes, you're That's living in correct. Australia. You're a Midwest boy from the United States, right? I've been really, really fortunate, thankfully. Um, you know, I, I, we got over here and I had to, uh, because Australia wasn't the initial plan, New York was the initial plan. And shortly before that, we changed our minds. Um, and I just rushed over here really quickly. And whilst I, I got over here and started handling all my visa and everything, I knew that Wicked was about to launch. And as soon as I knew my visa was set, I had representation here already. And I was like, hey, you got to get me in. You got to get me in. Like, oh, sorry, Matt, um, you know, submissions are closed. Oh, you, well, you can't, the deadline's come and gone. You, you can't audition. <laughs> and I was like, where's the audition? Tell me when the male singers are auditioning and I'll just go. I waited three and a half hours. I went and saw a movie and had lunch. So I went in the room and, um, and she's looking at me going, hey, would you read Fiera? I was like, uh, yeah, sure. 
And uh, anyways, long story short, um, I ended up cracking it and then ended up getting the gig anyway and did it for about three years. That's, so, ama- that's amazing. Uh, I mean, that is so American yeah. and so brash for you just to walk in and say, I'm here. Um, okay, so you did Wicked. Um, another big show is Legally Blonde you did. And everyone loves mm-hmm. Legally Blonde. Tell us about your experience with that. That was amazing. Um, Legally Blonde was so fun because you, that like that ball is up in the air and it, it you just keep hitting it up. It never deflates. Like the energy in the show is so up all the time. It was it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. A lot of pink, um, but a good time. It was, good. it was a good show to do. I want to switch to what's going on now. Um, uh, your beautiful wife, Jackie, and you had two amazing kids that are models. I'm, I'm hoping you're putting them in modeling because they're so damn cute. Uh, well, look, I'll, t- I'll take that because I'm missing them a bit. Um, so I'm touring, touring currently, and, and yeah, I need to get home and see them. So... Do people hate you guys walking around town when they're like, who are these, who, what's this model family? They just jumped out of a magazine. Cause Jackie's gorgeous. <laughs> Jackie's gorgeous. Your kids are cute. You're not bad looking. I mean, it's really annoying. You, you, you need to call me more often cause you're good for my, <laughs> you're good for my soul. Alex, you're good for my soul. Um, okay. So speaking of dad, <laughs> you're now in Mamma Mia and you're playing a role of, you know, the dads. Well, I'm so, I cover, I'm covering the dads. Um, I cover Sam and I cover Harry who is, from from the UK apparently by 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 way of the story, and it's I mean it's selling gangbusters like it's just crazy every night. It's uh, you know people are people are going crazy in in, in the uh, seats and they're up on their feet in the, during the finale during during the end of the show and we got people dressing up and it's um it's yeah it's really good. I'm really lucky. It's a great group of people. Um, it's really it's a really well run production. You've done so much in theater. Do you want to end your career in 30 years' time in theater? Do you want to go into the TV film route? Look, I would definitely, I would definitely not turn my nose up at it. Um, yes, I would like to do, I would like to do some film and TV. That'd be great. Um, I enjoy building a character. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy the natural, sort of naturalistic aspect of acting on camera so you performed in the states you've also performed in japan you've performed in australia do you notice a difference in the audiences between a, a u.s audience and an australian audience the way they react yes and no but it's only subtle uh you know u.s audiences can be a little bit more boisterous but aussies might just be a slight bit more reserved do you, really that because in real life i don't think that's the case they're really loud boisterous, excited people. Mate, mate, they they say the same thing about us, so I guess no, we're the same. No, no, no. Americans are obnoxious. It's different. So I want to thank you for taking yeah. the time to uh, do this with me. It's your one day off that you have this week, so thank you. And it's wonderful to see how well you're doing. I'm really proud of you. So congratulations on all your oh, success. Thanks, Alex. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you. So good luck with Mamma Mia, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, you too. Thank you. All right. See you, buddy.